Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm at the weirdest angle right now because the sun is like beating down. But I wanted to film an intro. I'm like on my way to work right now. Um, I'm wearing like regular clothes because we change into our scrubs. I think I mentioned that in one of the vlogs. But I'm actually staying at a hotel for two weeks because I'm taking advantage of the healthcare hotels for healthcare workers and I'll show you guys a little bit of that experience later on in the vlog. I wanted to intro for those of you who don't know me my name is Jasmine and I'm gonna leave my socials here if you don't already follow them and I'll see you guys later on after the shift. Oh god they have my small pants. Small. I got the last small. And this is what I wear. You guys have the thank you meal for breakfast? Um, can I get the McGriddle? The McGriddle? Okay, what can I do for you, like? Uh, what kind of drink does it come with? It comes with two creams and one sugar. Dude, they changed it. Oh, the last one, no. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, what the heck? It's actually like a full-on meal. Wait. Okay. It comes with a um, hash brown. Okay, let me just literally show you. It comes with a hash brown, the coffee, and then a freaking McGriddle. These clothes really aren't dirty. I just, these are the clothes I change into and out of when I go in and out of work. It's not really that dirty, but I'm going to put plastic back. Oh, it's not even that dirty. not have any breakfast so they have these water bottles granola bars and a little tiny oh this is super cute actually and then also an apple that i'm probably not going to eat but usually they have a breakfast today but they still have these out so i'm gonna go drink not this one but the um i'm gonna drink the chamomile to calm me down after this fresh so I'm showered I ate my breakfast that I got from McDonald's now I'm in bed it's about 8 10 right now oh my gosh McDonald's always makes me feel like shit though last few days I worked and today wasn't as bad as yesterday yesterday was really crazy I want to do a story time on it but I want to look better so we're gonna tell that story time when I'm actually dressed up but um my eyes are like looking like this because I'm so tired I didn't even sleep that much because it was my sister's birthday yesterday we were like not really celebrating but we were just trying to gather the family and eat together um, but I went straight here and I slept until like maybe 12.30 and then I drove over home and then I ate with them and then I slept and then we blew out candles and cake and everything. So that was that. Um, oh, I think one of my videos is going up today. So that should be a fun video. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> I schedule all these in advance, so I really don't have any idea which ones go up what day. I just know which ones 
Um, I have already put up. But anyway, yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about everything that's been going on. Um, and I want to give like a little bit of a tour. So I think I want to do that either later on in this vlog. I'm just way too tired to get up right now to show you around. It's really like kind of messy, I'm not even gonna lie. I haven't been cleaning. <laughs> but I bought a bunch of snacks because I'm working three days in a row after tomorrow. So I, my schedule kind of sucks. I had two days, I have one day off, and then I'm back on for three. And honestly, if I wasn't like young and still functional, that would like kill me. So I don't know how like people who are older nurses do it, but doing two, then one off, and then three is really freaking tiring. And it sucks because I only really have like two days off and then I have TNCC, but at least that's like only half a day. And then it's not really labor intensive, obviously. It's just classroom work. And then I'm back on right after my TNCC and I work another two days in a row. And then I checked out of here. So I'll give you like a whole lowdown in an intro video, which you'll probably see. I'm gonna go to sleep now because my eyes are getting puffier and puffier. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, so here's a little overview of everything. So there's a little sitting area, sleeping area, and then here's the kitchen. So we're gonna start off here at the door. So they have this um, little kitchenette area. It's actually pretty cute. They have like reusable things in these areas, but I haven't even touched it because of all the like germs and stuff. Um, I usually leave my garbage over here so that I can throw it out when I'm on the way out. And they give you these. I haven't really used those. Um, but you can get hot coffee and um, tea at like 6 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Then they have this in a little sink. And then um, these drawers have more utensils that I have not used at all. But there's always the option of using. Um, this is mine. <laughs> That's not mine. <laughs> and there's a $5 water. Um, here's the... Um... Oh, I forgot to mention. I also... That looks really bad right now, but I also sanitize everything with that Lysol over there. Okay, so before anyone comes at me for not, like, touching everything without cleaning it, that's why. Um, they have this little kitchen area. I have not cooked here. I just meal prepped, and I'll show you all my meal prep later. Um, they have a freezer area, which I have not used, but it is convenient that they give you little ice, um, packets. Um, this is what I have. Um, uh, it's really not much. I have white cloth for after work. I have a bunch of granola bars. I don't know why I store some of them in here. Um, uh, I have my meal prep boxes, two apples that I got from the free breakfast they have, some water. They have this water container, but I just bought my own. Um, I have some more protein. Shout out to this, um, protein company. They gave me a bunch of free, uh, they gave me a bunch of protein, and it's actually really, really good, so I might go get some more. This one's the Creamy Chocolate Fudge Flavor. And then I also bought the Suja Uber Greens, because um, I really like green juice. It makes me feel healthy. <laughs> Coming over here, this is a really real room tour because of the fact that nothing is really all that clean. Um, this is my sitting area. I was drinking my coffee just now from McDonald's. We have some chips, more coffee containers, some tea that I usually drink before I go to sleep after my shift in the morning, the room card, and then I don't know why I keep all my filthy stuff over here. That's where I'm keeping my dirty clothes my stuff i didn't even bother to unpack because they do have a closet area but i haven't been using it i'm gonna turn on the light so that you can see a little bit better okay i don't know if you can see it a little bit better that might be 
better than before. But they, what's really great about this is for night shift, they have like really, really, really good blackout curtains so that when I'm sleeping, I don't really see a lot of, um, a lot of sun and I have really good room placement, which is actually nice that my room was the one that's like further down away from the sun. So yeah, they also have this desk area. Um, I haven't really been sitting there, but I did sanitize that in case I did want to sit there. Um, they have this TV that you can actually hook up to your laptop and watch TV. Um, we watch a bunch of sets on here and I actually bought like a little, um, what's it called? Strobe light thing so I can feel like I'm at EDC or something. This is my bed. My bed is super unmade because of the fact that I never get the, um, what's it called? The room, room service? No. The housekeeping because of the fact that I don't want to expose more people to germs and I just also don't feel comfortable <laughs> having someone go through my stuff. I've never really utilized housekeeping, um, services in general. I also... My towel is still here. Um, let me put this back. So, I actually brought my own towels, and here's me. So, so from here, the bed area, you turn over here, and I like how the sink is outside of the actual bathroom, so that I can just kind of close this. And I've been using my own towels because of the fact that I don't like using their towels. It just makes me feel more comfortable to use my own. Um, so they had a bunch of towels up there, but the only towels I use are the ones to put here. I don't like to use them for my actual shower. I just use this to cover the bottom so that I put my toothbrush and all my toiletries over there. Don't really think there's anything down here. And I don't know if I actually sanitize that, so I'm not even going to bother to open it up. The bathroom is just a standard bathroom, so I'm not going to show you much of that, because, to be honest, it's kind of gross, and I'm not the... I don't really want to show you. But they also have this little area for, um, if you want to store your clothes. Um, and then they also have a laundry service but I don't think I need laundry service because I'm not really wearing too much clothes um and then extra pillows and iron I don't use irons because I no longer have to iron my uniform and then we can close this and yeah that's pretty much it for the room tour so bed area TV area I think this is where I spend most of my time um, you have the option to open both these windows, but most of the time mine are closed just because of night shift and all of that jazz. Kitchen area, really, really cute. And, oh, let me talk a little bit more. Look at my Crocs. are not actual Crocs. So, you guys, I never even got the Crocs that they offer to healthcare workers. I swear it's a scam because I tried it like every single day for like two weeks and I never got it. So that kind of sucks. So what I did is I went to Daiso and I have like these knockoff Crocs and they look pretty similar and I like them a lot. It makes me want to get real Crocs. But yeah. What works is you can book the free hotels. I'm going to show the link over here so I can still find it. Um, for healthcare workers and it has all the instructions there as to how to book it and I'll show you guys that probably later on but basically you just call them and you let them know what hospital you work at and you can actually book at any of not any hotel you can book basically in any city that's close by to your facility um, I chose the closest um, long stay um, hotel and it's actually really really nice um and i believe it's um funded by the government it is a two-week stay at a hotel um and because of the fact that i work in the hospital and i feel like for those of you who don't know i live with like seven people i think i mentioned this in the last video 
I live with my parents, my grandparents, and my siblings, so I don't really like spending so much. I don't like going straight from work to home because I feel like I'm have all these germs and like my grandparents are over the age of 75 and that poses a big risk and seeing all these cases now I just would rather play it safe and shower here than go home eventually later um, so I do recommend this if you are living with a lot of people and you feel um, it might be, like, might be a little safer um, it is only for two weeks so um, the thing was, the search is projected to be around this time, which is why I booked it for now. And I'm also going to be working, like, five shifts in the next few days. So I saw one of my friends do this, and he essentially just showers here and then goes home. And it's actually a really good place to sleep because of the blackout curtains, and sometimes with some people at home, it's hard for me to sleep. So it's actually really, really nice. It makes me think that maybe I should actually move out because it's nicer to be able to have your own space. The only downside is there is kind of a few people that are here because of the fact that it's a long extended stay and these people are um, pretty like close in proximity. Um, I kind of wish the hotel had done a better job of spreading people out but I guess um, that's just like not their protocol. Um, I kind of asked who was staying here just out of curiosity and they were like most people are, are either healthcare workers and families who don't have um the not the means the ability to like their living situations got changed so that's pretty much that but yeah that's pretty much the situation right now i'm gonna be here until um the end of the first week of May, I think Cinco de Mayo is the day that I have to check out. Um, and I have a pretty hefty schedule, so that should be a fun time. But yeah, right now, um, I'm gonna go get food, I think. And then, and then, and then since I don't have work tonight, I'm gonna head home. Probably later on today. Hope you guys are staying safe and are able to sustain the quarantine. How are you guys feeling about them opening back up a bunch of things soon? Like phase one. Um, I was really against it at first because I was thinking like why would they even do that if they know our numbers are going to automatically jump. But when you think about it, you can't live in this kind of fear forever. I just think that a lot of things are going to be changing for example one of the gyms had emailed us saying what their phase one was going to be like and let me just read some of the things that i had read from them so this is the proposed reopening protocol for um this place is a group training that i had went to only like one time but it's called the 12 and these are just some of the protocols that they have for this gym so like for example physical distancing through reduced club and class capacity so essentially they're smalling the smalling smalling making the group smaller so that we're able to um maintain social distancing even when we're working out um they should also be i think it's crazy because one of the things is health decoration upon entry to all studios so checking temperatures still even when the club is open so that's obviously not going to end um, you have to bring your own towel, no longer have towel services, which at my personal gym 24, they got rid of that service a long time ago, which I guess, even though I was a little bit irritated that they did that, um, it was actually a good thing because sanitation wise, um, contact list, check in and transactions, um, you have to wash your hands entering and exiting the facility and then they're only going to do 50% no high-fiving and personal contact during workout i think that's the hardest part um one of the things with this area specific um the workout classes are geared towards groups so you rotate between 12 stations so now i don't know how exactly that's going to work because you're reusing the equipment other people use so i don't know if they're going to change their workouts i don't know if they're going to wipe down the equipment while we're working out but that's just something that i thought was interesting so it's crazy to see how not just gems but also i wonder what's going to change in terms of 
obviously like the hotel didn't really change much other than they closed the pool and closed the um fitness facilities which kind of sucks because i kind of wish i could have used their fitness facilities i don't feel like a lot of people would use them um but other than that that's pretty much it but yeah that's pretty much it <sighs> I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but it's kind of crazy how the world's going to change after this. I think someone was mentioning the other day that we're probably never going to be able to walk into a hospital without a mask again. And I don't know if how long we're going to be doing the fever checks. I don't know if it's going to soon become like the way we treat the flu. I don't really know, but I'm trying to keep up with the news so that we can figure out what is going to be our phase one. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. For this vlog i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and i know this is like a tough time i know we're getting a lot of cases of anxiety coming into the emergency room coming in thinking that they have chest pain and i think it's really hard for everyone to be cooped up and just the fact that nothing's really known so i hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and i'll see you guys in the next vlog okay bye bye so I'll see you guys in the next vlog and till then stay safe and stay stay safe and stay positive. So Alex is here. Yay. You wanna open it? Yeah. Oh wow, this is so cute. This is, this is one of the Hawaiian local plate. businesses. So like it's just a plate, but Ooh, wow. Ooh. And then so this is Lao Lao, so you gotta open it. Mm hmm. What's the other one? Chicken. This is so fancy. It's not fancy, it's hella Hawaiian. That is so cute. Chicken plate. Oof. Damn. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Support your local business. Mm -hmm.